All right, hello everybody. It is Coach Seg, your coach of the Atlanta Braves, bringing to you RCF Week Two facing Goki Gamer and his Milwaukee Metachams. So obviously, I had issues when it came to recording the battle. It's really uh, well, it's only two minutes long. The original video of the battle is only two minutes long and stuck on the training card screen. So obviously, I had technical issues. I had technical issues with OBS. Basically, it just doesn't want to cooperate with me ever. Um, but we finally got it working, hopefully. And so now I can bring you this battle. So, taking a look at it, he brings uh, the Necrozma Duskmang, the Visharp, the Alakazam, the Chansey, the Porygon Z, and the Gardevoir, Ramrock, and Wisharpedo, Inteleon, Copperbrigus, Arcanine, Necrozma, and Swangaleo. So, on paper, um, you know, this, I think I have this handled pretty well. Like, my team, my matchup here is, is pretty good here. Um, with the sets and things that I ran. But you can never trust, uh, uh, you know, just looking at it to be the determination of the battle. So, let's get into the battle itself, shall we? So, leading off, I decided to leave off with my Kava Grigas as he led his Alakazam. Um, now, obviously, he switches out because why would he stay in? And I knock off here freely, and I get this chance he's EV light off. So maybe expecting me to Shadow Ball or whatnot. But he Thunder Waves, and I just get a big body press off on this thing. Um, it does so much damage. And I get a Toxic off right before it teleports, and they go into the Porygon Z, which is a good play on their part. And obviously, they have Shadow Ball. Uh, I do not want to take a plus one Shadow Ball. Nobody does. So I just decided to let Coffer Gigas go down. And here is a perfect opportunity for me to get a uh, Sharpedo and get to plus one. I try to protect, but it fails, obviously. Um, and I get my plus one. I close combat this thing, and it is dead. I could have liquidated there, but I just decided to close combat for whatever reason. Um, and now I'm at plus two, and he brings in Alakazam. And it's weird why. So I was thinking they have Focus Blast, so I protect a scout, and they have Counter. They're a Counter Focus Sash Alakazam. And I go for the close combat, hoping to break its Sash and put me like keep me out of range of Counter. But obviously it fails. So counter just completely obliterates me. And now I go into Inteleon. I try to focus energy up, but they have energy ball and crush my hopes and dreams of doing that. Now I go into Solgaleo, and right before they T-wave me, or well just as they T-wave me, I finish off this Alakazam with a Sunsteel Strike. So I'm in already in a very bad position. They go into Porygon Z and Shadow Ball is so free here. It does damage to everything on plus one and life war boosted. I go into Arcanine to take it the best, but, you know, it drops me down to 24%. Um, I close combat as they go into the Gardevoir, and here I try to Morning Sun, but they reveal that they are Scarped, and they take me out with the Shadow Ball, which is super unfortunate. So now I go into Necrozma, and this is where I got to do a little bit of explaining. So in the original battle, they got this Fidef drop, which is super unfortunate, um, but I do get an Earthquake, and I crit in the original battle, but it didn't kill because they, they do have some bulk. So I have to switch out because I don't want to take... Uh, minus one uh, Shadow Ball because I did in the original battle they did get this death drop. So I go into Solgaleo and I sack it off there. Um, and I go back into Necrozma and I can take the Shadow Ball now. And now I Dragon Dance up here. And now I just go for the EQ, take out the Guard of War. And here they just bring in Bisharp, they click Sucker Punch, and it's an easy win for them. So that's basically it. Shout out to Goki for such an amazing game. I tried my best. Um, obviously, I've not been doing the best when it comes to the RCF, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, we can make a, an amazing comeback next week facing um, Kyogre Kuei, Kuai. I know I'm butchering that, and I, I deeply apologize. And Hayes Lancing Leafeons, so that should be one hell of a battle, hopefully. Um... I'm sorry to Goki for all the disconnects in the original battle for it to leading up to nothing of like on my side that is like you got a video on your side of the battle and stuff like that but I was unfortunately not able to do that but that's gonna be it for me be on the look so this is going up as soon as possible this is probably going up what is it today's Monday so it's going up Tuesday I'll be on the lookout for week three of RCF coming Sunday and then a couple hours after that let playoffs because if you guys don't remember i made playoffs so uh be on the lookout for that it should be uh, a very great match uh refacing rematching pokey primer and his anaheim apple tons so that's gonna be it i'm coach like your coach with the atlanta braviaries i'll see you guys next time thank you